As you've heard in episodes one and two, fertilizers are one of the main contributors to the sea nettle problem in the Barnegat Bay. We're here at the Toms River Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse to discuss how over-fertilization is part of the problem. There are many different brands of fertilizers. Some of the most popular are Scott's and Lesco. They normally come in two size bags, a 5,000 square foot bag and a 15,000 square foot bag. Everyone looks for the three numbers on the bottom of the bag. In order, they are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And they are measured in percent by weight. When people shop for their fertilizer, they look for the one with a higher nitrogen content since that's what makes their lawn greener. We are about to see three fertilizer bags. As we take a look at the bags, look at the first number. That is the nitrogen content. Seen here, the second bag has the highest. People desiring a greener lawn would choose the second bag. hardware to talk to the owners about fertilizers and weed killer products. How many fertilizer products do you sell? We don't sell that many fertilizer products. The main product that we do sell a lot of is uh, weed killers. Very few lawns down here so uh, most of the people just have stones and they're just basically killing whatever grows on them. Has there been an increase in demand for these products over the past few years? Uh, not really, but uh, there's been a, a, a bit of an increase in demand for something that's safe. Do you know of any environmentally safe lawn products? Well, we've been looking into some environmentally safe weed killers to kill the lawn, uh, to kill grass and weeds in the stones, and uh, I've got a couple of things ordered, but they're not in yet. We don't really know that much about them yet. The other main uh, thing on that note is people are often not willing to pay the extra money because uh, usually uh, the greener products are twice as much as the chemical products. So that's a big factor of why they probably won't be used as much. In the background you can see the Barnegat Bay and that there are many houses built along it. We are going to talk about the population demographics of Ocean County. Population demographics is the growth of population of an area in a historical perspective including their administrative divisions and principal towns. In recent years, there has been a large amount of people moving to the Jersey Shore area, residing along the banks of the Toms River and the Barnegat Bay. This major influx of people and fertilization helps the sea nettle population flourish. From the year 1996 to 2000, the population grew by about 17% in Ocean County. The addition of construction and fertilizers have provided the sea nettles with nutrients and structures to cling to in the early stages of their life. Another contributor to the abundance of nutrients in the Barnegat Bay watershed is pet waste. This is a very popular place for people to walk their dogs, and some people do not clean up after them. Over time, the waste is washed into the bay. Once in the water, the pet waste gives off nutrients that help the flourishing sea nettle population. Remember, if they poop, then you scoop. Ponds like this, located in front of Ocean County College, usually succumb to the process of eutrophication. Eutrophication is the increase in chemical nutrients, mainly nitrogen and phosphorus, leading to a large increase in plant life. When the plants and algae die and begin to decay, the bacteria uses up all the oxygen in the water. This kills many fish, crustacean, and plant species, and it can damage or destroy marine ecosystems. In our case, the sea nettle population benefits from the abundance of nutrients. A major increase in their population affects life in the Barnegat Bay watershed. Eutrophication is a result of nutrient pollution. Some sources are sewage effluent release, runoff from lawn fertilizers, and animal waste. Runoff drains fertilizers and animal waste off lawns, sidewalks, and roads, down through sewers, and into waterways all throughout the Barnegat Bay watershed. <laughs> 